Welcome from Barcelona where we have here the Motorola Moto E smartphone which is the second generation because it was announced in 2015 right here at the Mobile World Congress. You can see we have a now a little bit of a bigger screen and the uh, main um, difference between the old and the new one is from the looks that you only have one speaker now here not two like in the version before but um, therefore this device got a little bit smaller because on the bottom part it doesn't need so much space. But let's turn it off and just look around it uh, a little bit first and let me tell you a, a, a few things about the hardware before we go into the software which is quite brilliant again here by Motorola which was previously owned by um, Google but now it's a part of Lenovo. So you can see here we have a beautiful camera with 5 megapixels that didn't change much but we have an autofocus now before it was a fixed focus lens. Also here there is a, a microphone built in, here is a little um, a Motorola logo which feels still quite nice here for the finger if you just hold it like that in your hand and otherwise you can see here the soft touch back cover which, uh, which is not removable. On the top you have here the 3.5mm headphone jack, on the side you have the on and off switch, volume rocker and on the bottom uh, the micro USB for charging and you can also see here a little bit microphone um, again here on the back which is probably for um, answering your phone calls. Now on the side there is nothing and if you are wondering why I have this blue purple color um, it's quite easy. This is a, a bumper that you can actually change and you can buy the phone in black or white which is completely black and or completely white but you can uh, change these little bumpers here all around which is and quite easy to take off like this and then you can see I have my um, two buttons that I showed you before here on this one this is quite flexible uh, but still quite sturdy if you just have it on the phone and if you take this off you can uh, actually add your sim card and your micro SD card um, and also there is a space for two sim cards actually here as you can see on the top and on the bottom um, because uh, it's also available as a dual SIM phone or as a LTE or 3G uh, device. And here on the other side, this little um, thingy shows us the email number. If you just pull that out, it's a little bit like with Sony usually. And um, you can just pull it out and then you can have here a few more information on the phone that they just didn't want to put here on the back because it wouldn't look that good. So let me put this little thing here all around back on. Now this is also again quite handy if you will drop your phone or you have a few scratches um, here on the corners or everywhere here around it after a few years you can just simply change it and then you have a phone that's almost like new. Except for of course if you hit the corners here on the front or uh, on the back which is of course not interchangeable. On the front you have a VGA camera as I said one speaker and um, also there is some sensors you built in somewhere so it um, can also automatically um, track um, how much sunlight um, you have outdoors and um, how much uh, the display has to be illuminated. So usually the phone is of course off and if you pick it up it should show us the time as it does right now so it is quite a um, handy feature. It doesn't uh, support double tap or anything like that um, but it has this nice little gesture uh, feature and there's a few more features that you probably already know from the Moto X or Moto G um, last year. Now the Moto E has it also and it's a 430 bucks a cheap phone which is uh, just quite great um, with uh, an amazing amount of features and already the latest Android installed Android 5.0 Lolly pop as you can see already with my um, notifications that I can just slide up and then um, use and also you have access right away to your phone and to the camera feature um, which is quite handy or you just simply unlock the phone and then you are in your home screen. Now we have here 4.5 in screen, it's a little bit bigger than the 4.3 from last year um, but we have still the same resolution of 960 um, times 540. But it's still quite sharp and it runs really smoothly because we have one gig of RAM and the latest Snapdragon 410 processor inside which has a quad-core processor and also supports LTE 4G. So you can see here in the apps it's again quite smooth. You can go back out here and you have all these nice little animations like for example if you just pull here down from the top and go a little bit further down you can see here all the settings that you can set up. Um, also here the brightness for example. Let me just leave it how it was um, and also you can pull it down with two fingers and then you get right away here to this menu because with one finger you first get only the notifications and then the rest if you pull it down a little bit more. So you can see really as I said a few animations. We can also check out here a little bit of the technical um, settings. 
that I'm not going through in detail, just browsing a little bit so you guys can see what we can choose from. Let's go back out again and then let's see what um, they have installed here for us by um, at Motorola. So Motorola is actually, as I said, was a Google company before, so they try to keep it clean and simple. So they install just all the Google apps and a few of their own, like for example, Alert. I actually don't even know exactly what that is. You can share your location with your family and friends. That's nothing for me there. You still have the Moto app and uh, migrate somewhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have to look for it. Migrate right there. So that would help you, for example, get the um, old phone information from your iPhone, from your HTC, from your BlackBerry or whatever here to this phone, like contacts and um, all kinds of other things. Again, not something for me, but what's quite handy is probably here Moto, which is helping you, for example, assist. So um, it keeps things quiet and dark at night. For example, you can set up what time that should be, like from 11 to 6, or you can also say when you're in a meeting that it shouldn't um, uh, do too much here um, on the device itself when you're in a meeting. You can also say quick capture for pictures. I will show you in a second what that means. And then we have also here uh, notifications, which is quite handy. And you can set up the apps with, which actually can tell you notifications, um, like for example, games or just simple apps. And I have some, for example, a notification right here on top, which I don't want, but you can actually also um, select a few things from right there. And I will show you in a second how. So these are all the motor apps that are pre-installed. And again, notifications, you just pull this down and now I have a Shadowgun notification here. It's in German right now, but it doesn't matter. I just have to hold it for a little while, hit on the information button here, and then I can say I want to block notifications from this app or give it actually even priority if I want to. So I can just say here block and then I will not get notifications anymore by um, sh um, Shadowgun. So, as you can see, as I said, it's really quite quick. We can also check it out in the benchmarks where we got an N22 2000, which is actually not that much if you go into the ranking. It's right here on the bottom at the Zenfone 5, which is also a quite cheap phone, but it still feels really quite good because the software engineers um, yeah, laid an eye on um, that they make it really smooth for everybody that wants to use it. And again, there's a quite a few cool features inside, like for example, you can um, use the OK Google phrase where it's listening to us and then can I ask, for example, uh, the weather here in Barcelona. But I was just talking too much, so let's start it again. Okay, Google. What's the weather in Barcelona? It's 15 degrees and mostly cloudy in Barcelona. But you can also set up, for example, timers or um, a clock in the morning so you can wake up. Okay, Google. Set the timer to 6 a.m. in the morning. Setting timer. And it's counting back till 6 a.m. in the morning. We can also just uh, do a wake up call, anything like that. And uh, Google can do all of that, but just by not even touching the screen. So that's quite handy. And you have also the possibility, of course, to look at all the apps that are open right now. There's quite a few here. It's a little bit not that handy if you have really a lot of apps open like I do right now because you have to close them separately. There's no button to close them all. For notifications, there is actually a button, but um, here, for example, I have to do this, uh, which is not that uh, great. But what's actually quite interesting is if you go into the browser and you open up a new web page, like, for example, let's go to the New York Times. .com. You can also see the keyboard is quite nice here on the bottom. Looks beautiful that's a standard lollipop keyboard and it's also flipping quite quickly you can see then that we have here now this open as a tab you can of course open a new tab but when you open all the apps you have also the tabs here as apps listed like for example the verge or i have some other sites like my hungarian site here open that i can just open up it's reloading then so it's not keeping in cache the, the site open which is a little bit sad because if you want to go offline and just read a few articles that's quite yeah, unhandy, but you can now see that you have here the two tabs open also here, so you don't have to press this and then somewhere the tab button, I think, to go left or right. Anyhow, so this was that. Now again to the gestures. You can just shake your phone and then the camera opens up. Now we already know that from the Moto X, Moto G, and then you can take a picture, for example, of this pine cone or whatever by just pressing the screen. 
And then you can watch, uh, look at the picture result here by just swiping to the left or right. I took a few pictures before, a video for example. But what's a little bit sad now is that low light, the pictures are really not that good. This is the hall here behind me um, from last night and there's no flashlight. So that's of course a little bit sad, but it's a cheap phone. So it's understandable. And there's also of course no flash for the front where you have just a VGA camera. I can show you that. Um, that the quality there is also not the best, but it's enough for just some basic pictures as you can see here. Now if you just want to go into the setup, you just have to swipe from the left to the right. And then you have your HDR mode, your touch to focus mode, a video mode, um, timer. You can also select if it should um, save to micro SD. Micro SD slot um, is expandable to up to 32 gigs, not more, so no 64 or 128. You can also turn off the sound and you can also say um, if it, the, 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 uh, the picture should be widescreen or just a standard uh, 4.9 megapixel or 3.7 megapixels. All right, so there's not much else to show you guys except for a little bit of gaming. Then we are already finished here with my Motorola Moto E review of this second generation. We put that pine cone away. Now with a 4.5 inch screen and compared to the 4.7 inches of the iPhone 6 for example, you can see here that it's really a lot smaller even though the display is not that much smaller than an iPhone. But of course price wise this costs five times the price so that's not even fair. I don't have the Moto G or the Moto E of the last generations here for you guys right now, but we will shoot a comparison video soon, so watch out for that. What I can tell you guys already is you should definitely check out this phone if you want to buy something not that expensive, because the display is amazing, also the colors and everything else, the speed, software, everything is really great, except for the back camera which doesn't have a flashlight, but for example for your grandparents or something like that, a phone or for kids, phone for 130 bucks, where you can change the colors all around and the bumpers and everything is really quite nice. So, thank you for tuning in, don't forget to subscribe, my name is Balazs, this was the Motorola Moto E 2015 in a full review, thank you for watching and until next time, peace out again.